Welcome to the New South Wales Globe tutorial series. In this video, we'll explain how to install and get started with Google Earth and New South Wales Globe. For this demonstration, we'll be using Internet Explorer to access the relevant websites. Other browsers will work just as well. Just make sure you're using the most up-to-date browser version. First, we need to install the latest version of Google Earth, Google's free mapping application. Navigate to the Google Earth website and download the application by following the on-screen instructions. Follow any installation prompts. You may prefer to uncheck installing Google Chrome if you do not require it. Then click on Agree and Download. If your download doesn't start automatically, click the hyperlink then open the downloaded Google Earth file. This process may be different in other browsers, but just follow the installation instructions. From here you can run the downloaded application, which will then begin installing Google Earth on your system. You are now ready to run Google Earth. If you already have Google Earth, check in Help about Google Earth to make sure that you have the latest version of the application. In order to use New South Wales Globe data, you'll need to download a small file. The download link can be found on the New South Wales Government Land and Property Information website. Click on the New South Wales Globe KML link and select Save As. Choose a location such as your desktop, however this may normally default to your downloads folder. Alternatively, you can right click on the link and select Save Target As or Save Link As, depending on your browser. This downloaded KML file gives you access to all of the New South Wales Globe data. Go to the file location and double click on the file. The file will open Google Earth and New South Wales Globe data will automatically load. There are a number of settings you may now want to adjust to get the best performance from Google Earth. Firstly, you may notice that the viewing speed of the layers in Google Earth partly depends on your device's graphics card, but it can be improved. In the menu bar, go to View and uncheck the options for Atmosphere, Sun, Historical Imagery and Water Surface. It is of course just as easy to turn these functions back on again when you need to use them. You can turn off automatic tilting to make navigation easier. In the menu bar, go to Tools, Options, Navigation and under the Navigation tab, check do not automatically tilt while zooming, then click apply. You can also speed things up by clearing the cache as temporary internet files gradually build up in the cache and slow down Google Earth. While you're still in the options, click on the cache tab, then clear memory cache and clear disk cache. Finally, you may want to adjust the elevation exaggeration to create a more impressive representation of the terrain. Make sure you're still in the options area, then select the 3D view tab. Set the elevation exaggeration to 1.8 and click apply. So now you are ready to begin navigating the range of spatial data available in New South Wales Globe. When you first open New South Wales Globe, a pop-up window from LPI will appear with some basic info on the globe, tips and tricks on using it, and terms and conditions of use. Have a read of the terms and conditions, then click on the X in the corner to close this window. New South Wales Globe contains a variety of imagery and information about the state. On the left hand side of the screen under the layers pane, the different categories of data can be seen when you expand the layer tree by clicking on the plus symbol. Tick or untick the box next to a category to show or hide the information. You can also expand these categories or layers by clicking again on the plus symbol to choose in more detail what you would like the map to display. Google Earth is a 3D viewing environment, so the navigation shortcuts are a bit more complex than the normal flat web maps. You can use the mouse, the keyboard, or both to move around. The icons down the right hand side of the screen are there to help you navigate. The top icons allow you to change direction of your view and change the angle of the camera. Click and drag the end to change your view and then double click the end for a quick way to reorientate to north. The next icon is the pan tool which allows you to move around the map. Another way to pan the map is to click and drag with the left mouse button anywhere on the earth's surface. The icon below this is the Street View Person symbol, which only appears when you are close to the planet's surface. This works the same as Google Maps. Click and drag the person onto a road you want to view at street level. Click Exit Street View to return to an aerial view. Last is the Zoom Control, which you can use to change your distance from the Earth's surface. Click and drag the slider to change, or click on the plus and minus symbols. You can also zoom using the mouse scroll wheel, or by right clicking and dragging. As well as Search Google, New South Wales Globe has two search tabs that give you access to land and property information datasets, Address, Lot, POI and Suburb. 
To activate a search, ensure that the required tab is selected before clicking the search button. Here we'll use the first option to search for examples of a property, a lot, and a point of interest. To search for a property, enter the address 1 Prince Albert Road, Sydney. Then either click search or press enter. To search by lot, try entering 3 forward slash DP333. Or for a point of interest, let's try the Blue Mountains. All search results will be displayed under the search bar and Google Earth will zoom in to display the selected result. Searching for a suburb will display its outline. And again, Google Earth will zoom in to display the search for suburb. You now have the knowledge to begin exploring the spatial data available in New South Wales Globe. Watch tutorial 2, New South Wales Globe Next Steps to find out how to use the more advanced tools and get more out of the New South Wales Globe data and imagery.